Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator. You know, the other day I was talking to Maestria uh, about gorgeous GUIs. And when I say gorgeous GUIs, um, I'm not referring to gorgeous Italian women. Uh, just to be clear, right? That's not what we're talking about. Uh, what we were talking about was he has this new HTML GUI class and uh, it's quite impressive. He was walking me through. Now, he's not quite done with it. So I think after he's, you know, kind of put the finishing polishes on it, we will uh, make another video a planned video because this wasn't planned right we were just kind of ad hoc living he was show, uh doing demonstrating stuff uh, let me give you by the way here's um it is on github so you can this is a pretty link that'll re redirect you to the, the page where we have the information about it and you can get it from there um but uh yeah it is a great i think demonstration of what you can still do with auto hotkey um once you now again you, it, this gives you uh, you have to understand html you know css um but if you know those two things, wow, you can really create some, easily create some uh, very cool looking GUIs with AutoHotKey, um, allow, allow for doing stuff, interacting things. Um, it was really, really impressive. Now, just keep in mind, this wasn't planned, so things kind of go sideways here and there, right? And so, um, which is perfectly fine when we're doing this, but um, so the video is a bit long, right? We, we were doing stuff. And also, which I'll explain in the middle of it, like at some point, um, things weren't working. And then later he actually recorded a short video showing me how he got it fixed and figured out what's going on. But, um, I think you'll like the video overall. It, it's again, it's just fun to sit back and watch someone who really knows what they're doing. Right. Um, Maestri has got, got some amazing skills working with GUIs far, far beyond anything I will ever uh, achieve. Um, if you have any questions about it, you know, comment into the video, see, see uh, you know, write some comments on this. If there's something you didn't understand how to do or how to create, I'm going to ask him to, at some point, you know, create a lot of templates. He did say that uh, in, in the current version, he has a lot of things documented that, you know, with some good examples of doing things. Uh, however, the nature of the beast, right, with HTML and CSS, you can do whatever you want, right? And that's where, like, if you don't understand those, it's really hard to create things from scratch. But um, I think you'll find this video really helpful and fun and entertaining. Um, not not so much of like the ha ha wow I'm I'm amazed at listening to how smart uh, Maestrith and Joe are. Uh, maybe with Maestrith, not with me. But um, more so to the point of it's just really cool watching people do stuff on the fly and some of the cool things he's building into it. And that with Auto Hockey we'll be able to create some nice looking GUIs very easily. So hope you enjoy it. Cheers. One moment, let me think here. Huh. This is gonna bother me. Let's view all the, the media grid. Sure did. Oh, that's funny. Okay, we're good. All right. Okay, so I hit GG values. Yeah. ASDF, enter. Something equals ASDF. Yeah. So if I call to that, it'll get all of the values. So let's throw something one and something two in there. And then let's go ahead and OBJ colon equals. So M OBJ. All right. So let's go to the first one, ASDF, FDSA, and QWER. We hit enter, ASDF, FDSA, wow. QWER. Yeah. It returns them all. Yeah. So what's fun about that is you can do OBJ dot something. OBJ dot something. Sure, right. Yeah. But let's say we want the first and the third one. So ASDF and one, two, three, four, uh, whatever. Enter. And we just get those two. Right. Yeah. And, and obviously, you're, you're not demonstrating here, but you could, I know, just because the way you do stuff, you could customize the colors of anything in that input. Oh, sure. Input those things, all the, the, the size, the width, height, whatever, font, probably even, or something. All right. So notice when I type here, it doesn't turn red. But uh -huh. when I type here, the background turns red. Uh -huh. That's the ignore state. So if you put in ignore state, it doesn't show to basically show that it's, it's been edited. Right. But as soon as it goes back to its initial state, then it's uh -huh. fine. It doesn't show that it's edited. So let's say we want to do styles, color, 
orange. Um, font size 50. And is that standard CSS or are, are these, wow, are these uh, things you've just written that are logical? Oh, it's standard CSS. Okay. Yeah, anything within this second thing here, see how it's it's saying type, parent, attributes, style. Right. This is key value paired object of whatever style you want to give it. Cool. And then text and HTML. So you can actually you can you could actually say, you know what, I want it to be a span instead. Uh, things. Oops. Oh, that doesn't work that way. That's interesting. So it used to work that way. Oh, well. I mean, why would you want it to be a span anyway? Right. So let's say we want to give it a pre-assigned value. Things. So now it's things. And then you hit enter. And something one is things. But you don't need to give it. Any kind of um, and then how are you, like, let's say you wanted uh, one of those second inputs to be somewhere else in the screen, you know, in a different spot in spot the GUI. Well, there's, uh, let's go ahead and make a div. Create element div. And we're going to say no parent, no attributes. We're going to do style. Um, Let's see, uh, position, absolute, top 200, left 200. Oh yeah, you don't need quotes around integers. <laughs> integers don't need quotes. Okay, so let's say we want this one to be here. So now it's here. And then mm -hmm. uh, you can throw in a picture or something too, right? Oh, sure. Or just text. Yeah. Or, I mean, it's all you, you have. Um, GG, oops, GG, create element. In a, in a Let me go get an NSFW picture. <laughs> we will save as. And where in the world does this belong? This belongs here. And we will co boop. P I C T U R E dot J P G. Enter. Okay. Just make sure it got there. It got there. Good deal. All right. So now, uh, I M G. Doot, doot. Doot. No, it's attributes. SRC. Uh, oh, I think you have to do a full qualified path. All right. What did I did I call it something else? And I'm just an idiot. <laughs> ah, my memory. <laughs> there we go. Oh, do need the path. Doesn't assume. There's your picture. Cool. Yeah, and, and then you can tell it how big you want it to be. Yeah. And then throw on like a either a you know whatever button a button. Or just... Uh, let's put it with the other one, div, and then let's go, um, oh, right, uh, function, my button, doot, doot, and doot, HTML, my fancy button, all right, and my button, a, B, C, M, A, B, C. Beautiful. All right. So my fancy button, you click the fancy button and you see it says, hey, you clicked this button. 
So you can, from this information, you can get like, okay, well, I know that I told this button, the function of this button to come here. So you don't really need the information. You can just say, um, right. you, yeah, you're here. Yeah. Click the fancy right. button. So run my fancy button, you click it cool. and you click the fancy button. Okay. So let's say you want to do something as someone types. Type T-Y-P, I-N-G, A-B-C, one, two, three. Okay, so let's do a tool tip of B. All right, so as we type in the first one, A-S-D-F, one, two, three, four, five. It'll show you the tool tip of whatever you typed in there. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. And uh, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, oh, you can make it so when you click on the picture, do do, do the picture can do things. So we click on P I C U T U R E. Oop. Do 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 do. M picture. We run that and oh, did I? I probably did. Oh, I did. Wow, I put that in the way wrong place. What was I thinking? Must have been drinking. I don't drink, but you know. Yeah. So now we click on it. It says a picture. So now the picture does things. Oh, Let's cool. I didn't picture. Realize. Yeah, wow. To, okay, so this yeah. is a style. Wow, that's nuts. Dag nabbit. Learn to type. There we go. So now. It's a hand no. when you put it on the picture. Ooh, fancy. Um, and you just put that into your style. And you can give it whatever cursor you want. Anything that HTML can provide, of course. Hmm. Um, let's see. What other stupid stuff can you do? Oh, yeah. Drop files. Do, 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 do. Drop. Uh, picture drop. Comma. A-C-C-U-R-E-D-R-O-P, A-B-C, and M, A-B-C. I forget which one it is. So we run it, and let's select one, two, three, pick three things, drag it onto the picture. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, do, do, do. I did an image picture drop. What did I do wrong? That's interesting. One moment. Oh. Oh. I could have sworn. Yeah, draw file. Oh, it means four. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. Do, 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 do. A, B, C, and D. There we go. Do, do. Oh, oh going to make a layer out of me anyway. All right. One moment. Let's go back here. Oh, quit doing that. You jerk. Oh, come on, mouse. Yeah, you got there. Picture drop. Media grid, if was box. Get attribute drop. Um, oh. This should show. Oh, God damn it. Zero. Yeah. Why did it? That's weird. Picture draw. That's what I called it. Oh, you. 
Dumas. You absolute Dumas. Okay. <laughs> Make it bigger. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, I know. I, oh, <laughs> I was hitting the wrong button. All right. So grab the three files. One, two, three. Drop it on the flower. There's all your three files. Okay. So, and what's fun is if you drop it elsewhere, it doesn't do anything. Uh huh. Man. Because I haven't told anything else. I haven't registered a drop to anything but the picture. Yeah. Yeah. It's really interesting. So let's go ahead and on the input, though. So this is for the first one input or drop. Oh, quit that. Uh, input drop. And then this is files if you want to be technical about it. So, oh, let's do it uh, in the input. There we go. So we grab the files, we drag it here. Oh, you schmuck. Do, 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 do. Did the same thing again. It's not the parent. <laughs> Duh. Oh, really? Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, so we drop it onto the picture. It does. It just shows the files. But if we drop it onto this one, it'll say in the input and then show the files. So each control can have its own drop target, which is helpful. So if you've got certain areas that want certain things, then you know, say you've got an image grid that shows images. So you only want images to be dropped on the image grid to update the image file. So let's go ahead and gg create element image grid parent uh, yeah no parent attributes uh, we need an id my grid and then a style let's go let's just do width two hundred height. 200. Okay. So that creates the image grid. So GG. Oh, right. We got to instantiate it. This instantiates a grid. Okay. So now grid uh, populate. Oh, I'll do it the, the lazy way. So images colon equals create a blank object, then loop files star.jpg oh pardon me if you can hear my stomach <laughs> images.push source a loop tag on it file full or long path okay and then we'll give it some text uh, text my fancy flowers okay then we populate it with images and one moment. Oh, um, what did I call it? My grid. Wow. Unknown name populate. Yeah. My, grid. my apologies. I'm. Yeah, no worries. I did this a while ago, and damned if I can remember. Yeah, this is where, uh, over time, having some templates of, you know, an example for each thing would really help. Right. Not you, I mean, but just people who don't know what they're doing. 
Um, well, it'll help me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Grid. Did I? I may have. I may have made like a super global or something. No, it is still line 15 populate. Specifically populate unknown name. How? Media grid, right? Oh, did I call it image grid? Right. So in the media grid, you have to assign it text. The name of the grid that you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take the image out so we can show the fancy. All right, oh. Uh, let's go ahead and make another div or let's reuse this div we'll go 300 now let's go 200 and 400 and we'll put this inside that div oh a little too far <laughs> uh, we'll go back to 300 now that the other image isn't there okay so you can see that it's all right, so now this is your My Fancy Flowers. That's the text I passed to it. That'll show up at the oh, bottom. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got the image. So, oh, yeah, let's make it a... Uh, oh, I did give it a, a static size. All right, yeah. Calc. 100% minus, eh, let's go 300 pixels. Calc, 100%. And the spaces are important. If they weren't, I wouldn't put them in there. <laughs> yeah. Minus uh, 500 pixels. All right. So now you'll see the picture is a little bigger. Yep. You know what? I need to go a little more off of the height. Uh, let's go 550. Interesting. Okay. So you'll notice the picture's relatively small. Oh, you son of a gun. Media grid with calc. Okay, calc. Oh, no, that should still... Huh. All right. Am I in the right place? Yes, I'm in the right place. Width and height. Hmm. It should have resized. But let's go ahead and give it a drop target of images. Okay. So we're gonna just go ahead and say ABN files, images colon equals square bracket. Basically, I'm going to mimic this, but instead of a loop file path, it's just gonna be B and my dropped flowers, GG, or no, it's uh, my grid. Populate images. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Make sure you global it so that it pulls it into the scope. And okay. So we've got my fancy flowers, but let's go ahead and just drop in this one. Now it's my dropped flowers. Let's get something a little more visually different so that you can see that something actually happened rather than just seeing the fact that the, the text changed. Save image as, 
hopefully it's the same folder. Yes. Uh, and it doesn't matter what I call it because I don't need to know what the name of it is. Okay. So now we've got these flowers here. We've got this bouquet. We click, we drag, we drop, and now it's a different bouquet. So let's go ahead and rerun that. Oh, <laughs> now we've got more flowers because I've included all of them. So let's go ahead and find another one. Do, do, something way different. Yeah, that's way different. Do, 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 do. Say, oh, no. Save image as. Very good. And progressive. Who knows why it's progressive, but it is. Okay. So now we've got that. And we've got... Oh, I hit escape. Whoops. <laughs> okay. All right. So you can see that there's three or there's more than one in there now. So let's go ahead and just grab one. Drag it in. We got that one. We got... Come on. We got that one. This should be resizing, and I don't understand why it's not. I'll have to figure that out. Whoops. I don't want that. I just want this. And then we got picture. Oh, come on. Drag it in. Or let's say we want to get two of them. So I select both of those. Drag it in. Now I got two pictures in there or whatever but if i drag these to the same or to this one it'll just show right. me the well, input right yeah so yeah i'll have to I figure out a little data and you know i think i actually mentioned this you know i hadn't seen it yet but you know you're you told me about it and i've seen you do other stuff with html with auto hockey uh, and uh geek dude has his uh what is that one pro proton I forget. proton i believe yeah, but um, very cool that you can do some of this stuff with auto hockey. And, and the the thing, you know, it's a bummer, but it, it just gets back to when you're using a you know, class, you do have to understand, you know, what goes where. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily auto assist you with kind of giving you, because there's just so many different things that can go in it, right? That like, yeah. so yeah, you have to understand HTML or CSS or whatever, but um, you're making really, I obviously here you're just goofing around, but yeah, I can see how you can make some really nice, attractive looking GUIs very easily and in getting input from them, right? Um, man, a couple example templates would really like make it so obvious of how easy this is to create a GUI, let people interact with it, drag files or images or, um, or, or input text and, you know, get what they did and react to it. Very cool. Right. Very cool. I just don't understand. Hey, so quick intermission. Um, we finished that call, and then later, uh, Maester actually uh, sent me a video saying he explained what was going on. So we're going to cut to that here in a second. I just didn't want you to be confused of what in the world, why we, uh, why it changed when it did. So. We're gonna pop over here to that video he sent me. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. I found it really fascinating that we can create these video uh, images and, and uh, everything, the GUIs with auto hockey. It's amazing, so cheers. Figured out what was causing my issue. Divs acting weird, but everything resizes as it should. Also wanted to show you that like space selects, arrow keys move around. Say I wanna select the center one and the one to the right of it i can hit shift and right come down shift left come up here now if i hit shift down it's going to select the top one but deselect the bottom two or the middle two pardon me in that row 